Hello guys, welcome back, and I'm Engsel, and today we're talking about Green Lantern's annual number one in... Oh wait a minute, um... Mm, exciting introductions are inappropriate. Today we are reviewing Green Lantern's annual number one, where a new race of aliens that are appropriate receive our protagonists that are not appropriate, which means they are inappropriate in a very appropriate story where an old lantern has done some inappropriate things but then things become very appropriately developed into a very appropriate conclusion and oh gosh walking like this hurts anyway uh even though that it becomes old very quickly uh i really liked it it was a very interesting way of conveying um particular quirk of an alien race and I love that when it comes to space exploration and part of this story was precisely that space exploration although on just one planet that is not really a planet um, anyway um, we see a lot of Jessica being an awesome lantern she is so great her personality is awesome i love how she constantly fights back against her anxiety issues uh with in this particular story come out strongly because of this um quirk of these insect aliens things for them everything is about being appropriate or inappropriate there are many things that they are, are inappropriate for them uh, starting in that this is mentioned in the first few pages I, they find a species where there is a male and a female completely inappropriate so there's no making these guys happy and that's um and that's saying um far less of what should be said about that but uh, since they are extremely strict and they will find almost anything inappropriate and i'm gonna say this word many times in the future i believe um these uh triggers uh, jessica's anxiety into overthinking everything she's like oh my god if i say this will be appropriate if i say this will it be appropriate if i say this will it be appropriate oh no 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 no! i better not say that because that will be completely inappropriate oh my god did i uh, say hi in the wrong way that will make it inappropriate oh my god what if i come out inappropriately oh my god am i inappropriate etc etc is is i mean the anxiety comes out of the pages and during that particular moment it makes you feel uh very much like uh, she is feeling but things start getting better from there because she uh, finds a long time i'm gonna say conspiracy although the term is not um strongly applied here let um, i i would it's not strongly applied here it is kind of inappropriately applied here but she finds out about this this problem and she finds a solution in a way that only jessica cruz can think she is very good at understanding other people um mainly other people's emotions and she is very good at this mostly because she has been dealing with her own emotions for such a long time so she starts doing um great things her personality as i said was awesome and uh, another character because at this point it is uh, more it's very more uh, it is a character it's her ring i love her ring i love i love how she has configured it to be sassy to be the sassy companion to her uh always making sarcastic comments it's like a um more active alfred let's say it uh for her uh and i really i really really liked it i mean uh this annual has a lot of guest stars has, a, has some simon in it but it's mainly about jessica and that makes it great but also makes it worrisome to me i'm gonna tell you why uh you know they ha this happens a lot in anime uh, where there is a character that will soon die or, or that will be something will happen soon to to this character uh and because you want the viewer or the reader uh, depending on the medium to care about this character so the um, the upcoming event or tragedy or stuff uh will have more impact that made you care for it before so 
the cliffhanger, the cliffhanger of the last issue of Green Lanterns um, was about something happening to Jessica that didn't sound particularly bad or tragic, but I didn't like it. I don't, I don't want that to happen. And now we have an annual where everything is about, is about her. Everything revolves around her and, and everything leaves her as a great, great, great character. So I'm worried that that same pattern is happening here, that we have seen a lot of Jessica right now because soon we won't be seeing much of her anymore. Um, I'm not saying that she will, she is going to die because if that happens, then this is worse than I think. But uh, I, I, I'm worried. Let's just leave it at, at I am worried. But no more speculation for now. Let's go back to the to the issue. Um, and yes, I'm gonna have to give it four Jessica's out of five. It was it was it was really it was really good, very good writing. Oh, and the art I forgot to mention that the art was also great. The coloring was awesome. Um, it really fit the story at, at at every moment, and it made me feel um, present in that particular um, not most exploratory space exploration thing. So, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about what will happen to Jessica? If you don't want Jessica to be gone, please cl click the like button and comment down below and all the usual stuff. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.